Mrs. O'Mara, I want to sleep with your daughter. <coughs> Ray, is that you? Yes. <laughs> Alex, what are you wearing? Oh. Listen, I've got to tell you, I've discovered this new American thing. <laughs> Well, it would appear we're, uh... No, I've been into him since Tuesday. I read a piece in the record mirror. Mm, I read that too, actually. I read it on Monday, yes. Um, when did you read about it, Ray? Wednesday. <laughs> but I, 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 didn't, I didn't read about him. No? No. I was in a record shop, and I saw one of his records, and I bought it, and I liked it. Wait, you, sorry, you, you mean you actually, you actually discovered him yourself? Yeah. <laughs> what? How? Yeah, I discovered him before... Have you got that? Yeah. Before... <laughs> I read about him in the music press. I think he's the best thing since sliced bread. And they were very good. I really, really <laughs> like that. They say he's the new Bob Dylan. <laughs> I heard that he might even be better than Dylan. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have carried a large decorative vase in here if I thought that someone was going to say that there might be someone who was better than Dylan. <laughs> this could change everything. Go and see Cynthia. She'll know what to do. She says that in times of crisis, women must stick together to, in, in effect, become a, a, a sticky women. <laughs> sticky women stuck together with gluey feminism. <laughs> hey, you know we should go to that uh, pop concert in Oxford. You know we can get an interview with Art Ledger. We can go in my new car. It'll be great. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet, but it's uh, it's called a Ginkle. <laughs> You've, you've bought a car? Yeah, yeah. It's being delivered on Sunday. It's East German, right? There's only two in the country. It's brilliant. It's a, it's a bargain as well, 30 quid. 30 pounds? Well, I hope you didn't take that money out of the printing fund. It's, it's an awful lot of money for us and a, a worryingly small amount for a motor car. It's East German, Alex. The, the model socialist state. You know, that means it'll be really reliable. You know, so, so reliable, in fact, I'm not even going to insure it. You know? <laughs> Because it could never, ever, ever, ever break down or be involved in any kind of accident whatsoever. I think you're being a little naive, Ray. You're just being sceptical, Alex, you know? You've got to sweep scepticism away as a new broom, you know? Imagine, say that broken vase piece is there, that's, say that scepticism, mm -hmm. right? And that broom there is... Well, I mean, it's a broom, but it's, it's, not, but it's not just a real broom, it's a metaphorical broom, yeah. right? <laughs> OK. Yeah, you don't need to show me, actually. It's quite a simple concept to grasp, and you may look foolish. No, here I am, look, Alex. I'm, I'm sweeping scepticism away. Yeah, look, look, looking I'm foolish. sweeping scepticism. Looking foolish. I'm sweeping it away. Still looking I'm foolish. I'm sweeping the scepticism. Yep, still looking foolish. OK. <laughs> I've broken the... It doesn't matter. I can still... We can still do this. This, this is now scepticism, OK? And I'm putting it... And I'm poking the scepticism <laughs> away. Poking it away. I'm hitting it. I'm hitting scepticism with a big yeah, Ray, stick. No, I beg you, en end this torture now, please. Look, I'll, uh, I'll give you a pound. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just saying, you know, the car's a good investment. That hat stand there, that's East German. We've had that over a week. I think our comrades in Leipzig may need to seek new resting places for their fairy hats. <laughs> still wearing your Art Ledger gear? Yes, I find that slightly embarrassing. Yeah, he's still great, though, isn't he? Because, I mean, you, you were wearing the gear as well, so... 
Yeah, but uh, once people like you started wearing it, it, uh, it all became meaningless. <laughs> oh, God. I'm very hot, actually, suddenly. I'm just going to pop this off, because it's not because of what you said. I'm just very hot. <laughs> Surprisingly roomy. Quite an interesting design. Yeah. Right. Whew. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, well, no trouble starting. <laughs> you think maybe if you slid down a bit, your yeah, feet might actually yeah. reach yeah. the pedals. Good idea. Yeah. I think I got myself a little bit of a bargain here. <laughs> I sure we get a lift, Alex. You know, despite what everyone says, the public out there really like us young alternative people. You know, they think we're fantastic. I know you're thinking about the cash, Alex, you know. Ooh, 30 quid. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I think you're like my mother. You think you ought to tuck your shirt in? <laughs> <sighs> We're never going to get a lift. Jill got a lift. Yeah, but the only reason Jill got a lift is because she's a chick. <laughs> Hugo got a lift. Third time that's happened. <laughs> Why? <laughs> We're never going to get a lift. There we are, right? Eh? <laughs> I tell you what, just let your own go and see what happens. It'll never work. Alex, you are so unhelpful. I suppose you've studied aerodynamics, have you? Do you mean gravity, Ray? No. Yes, I do. Aerodynamics <laughs> is the effect of air flowing over a solid object. Yes, all right, all right, all right. I haven't studied gravity, but I do know that if you try and hold something up with nothing, it'll probably fall down. OK, Eisenstein. <laughs> he was actually a film... Oh, Einstein! <laughs> Newton. <laughs> Let your end go, OK? Let's do what happens. Ready, go. There, you see? It's standing. <laughs> Because Hugo's inside holding it up. No, he's not. <laughs> is he? Yes, he is. Hugo, are you, are, you, are you in the tent, Hugo? Yes, here I am inside the tent. <laughs> uh, I'm also a bit frightened. It's very dark. <laughs> OK, OK, I'll tell you what, try not holding it up for a minute. <laughs> I think the 
anywhere that would stay up is possibly if you directed it in outer space. Yeah, but we're not in outer space, are we, Alex? We're in the 60s, you know, so let's just try it again. Is it wise to, to light a fire inside the tent? <laughs> Again, Alex, you are the most cautious person I've ever come across. It is not dangerous to light a fire in a tent. You sure I just thought this? Yeah. Um... <laughs> just sh shush, Alex, OK? This fire is going to burn all night long. Put out that fire, Ray. It's very dangerous to light a fire inside a tent. Is it really? OK. <laughs> Still great, though, isn't it? It's good being here, you know, at a pop festival, you know, hot on the, on the trail of some new rock star, you know, and just basically being alive in this, in this wonderful time, you know? I shouldn't, <laughs> I shouldn't really say this, but I think I'm going to. Um, I feel so good. I've actually got an erection. <laughs> I've got something. It's a snake, it's a snake! Ah! Snake, it's not a snake! It's some drugs. Look, I got them from a, a rather nervous Welsh older hippie um, who I'd never met before or seen in my life, and uh, so I'm pretty sure they're good stuff. <laughs> Was this rather nervous hippie wearing an eye patch? Uh, no, he was wearing two eye patches. <laughs> He must have lost the other one as well. Yeah. Well, Shelley tends to live close to the edge. He, he lost his first eye in a cockfight in real. It's a foolish career move, fighting chickens for money. But, uh, <laughs> it's a harrowing image. Eddie, drunk somewhere in a barn, flailing out blindly at, a, at an angry cock. <laughs> Something written on the label. May cause complications in pregnancy, nausea, vomiting, long-term depression, anxiety, panic attacks, loss of appetite and excessive urination. Mm, well, I thought we'd go out and get some more. <laughs> well, there's something you missed here, look, Jill. May cause sexual stimulation in women. It's a bit of a bonus for you, isn't it? And for me, hopefully. <laughs> I'm just going to take one now, I don't care. <clears throat> <laughs> It feels great. You should take one, Jill. It's brilliant. Ooh, I feel thing. I can see things. And... Ah! I think I'm coming down. I really do. I'm in hell. Right, right. I'm in hell. Are you all right? Now? Yeah. Fine. I just had a massive high, followed by an extreme downer, all in about five seconds. <laughs> you all right, Jill? <laughs> Shit, she's levitating. Mm. <laughs> I've never seen a human being levitate before. Hector Dodd levitated for a year once. It gets rather boring after one. The only advantage is that he uh, didn't have to move his feet when his mum hoovered his room. <laughs> How's Jill? Still the same. Oh, no. Well, maybe we should nail her down. Try moving her leg. Well, just leave her. She'll come out of it, I'm sure. Right, OK, how do I feel after taking all of those drugs? Where's that? Ah. Right, uh, pregnancy, no. Nausea, no. Vomiting, no. Long-term depression, too early to tell. Anxiety, no. Panic attacks? Can help! Not you, Hugo. Uh, <laughs> excessive urination. I actually discovered him before I read about him in the music press. Oh, right. Yeah. I love that song. Mrs. O'Mara, I want to sleep with your daughter. Even though I know I should not. Uh, hey, you're him. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Great to meet you. So, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing your gig, you know. Are you, are you having a good time, Art? Because um, I am, you know, I really I love it. It's just see a lot of young people come together with a very, you know, serious, determined intention of changing society. Don't, don't go, Art. 
Um, I'm, I'm actually the editor of a really cool youth magazine over here in the UK, and um, I really, I really love to get an interview with you. Well, I don't have much time. I have another interview to do, so. Well, m m maybe I could just grab a few words. Well, you'd have to do it kind of now. Okay, okay. That, well, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I just I was really desperate, and I, I bought some pills off a Welsh bloke, and it's just it's the after effect, and it's very annoying. I... Yeah, what's your first question? Okay, okay. First question. First question. Um, right. What's it going to be? Um, yeah, yeah. Something a bit more original than the usual. Um, what are your musical influences? <laughs> well, I like the blues, Muddy Waters, Robert sorry, Johnson. Sorry again. Could you, oh, just write this down for me, please. Just, just write down on that pad. Find a clean space. Um, uh, what are your musical influences? And, and write a, a thing at the top. Art Ledger interview. Okay, sixty-nine. Right. Okay. And, and in capitals, because that, that looks like Lodger. You know, just... This isn't gonna no, work, man. Okay, check it away. Check it away. Go on, go on. Um, just say, tell me, and I'll remember them. What are your musical influences? All right, Muddy Waters, Robert Johnson, and some of the new guys. You know, like Rex Hiller. <laughs> you have heard of him, right? He's a singer. Yes, he is. Right. Okay, good. <laughs> this must be the longest piss in the world, really. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make a lot of money in the music biz? Huh. All right, take this gig, right? For this, they asked me if I wanted money or a car, and since they only offered me $200, I said a car. That's very wise. Yeah, it's called a ginkle. <laughs> yeah, apparently, there's only two of them in Britain. <laughs> Where is all this stuff coming from? I don't know. I have to go. Okay. All right, well, t t t t uh, thanks for the interview, and I'll, I'll, I'll see you. <laughs> I'm not covered in mud. You should give it a try. Brilliant. <laughs> no, brilliant. You are a true master. Oh, thank you, Professor Yang. Thank you. Hello, Ray. How, how did you know I was... <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> uh, Professor Yang is over from Shanghai. He enjoys these little pop festivals. I like Dave D. Doze, B.K. Mick and Kitch. <laughs> Yes, professor's in the art business. He's uh, bought some clay models here at the festival earlier. Primitive, of course, but he has rather, shall we say, base tastes, uh, especially in the bedroom. Oh, yes, yes, he's a dirty little dog between the sheets, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, his wife told me as we were making love in his kitchen sink. In the kitchen sink? You, you can't have had much room. No, she's a very small woman. <laughs> Oh, she's a mesmerizing creature, but like so many of the world's beautiful women, she's married to an absolute twat. <laughs> Don't worry, Ray, he can't speak English. Yes, he can, I just heard him. Yes, I can. <laughs> can you? Yes, of course, I learned. Five-week lingua from course. But, uh, I haven't learned the meaning of uh, kitchen sink, dirty dog, or absolute twat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Ray, would you fancy a game? Yeah, yeah, oh, sure. sure. <clears throat> right. Well, there, there seem to be a few extra pieces. 
Yes, I found conventional chess uh, a little too easy, so I invented a few more pieces, yeah. And some extra squares. You'll learn as we go along. Please, play first. very sexy. Oh, I really, really have the hots for Ray. I'm a big, sexy girl and I need my boyfriend. It's a wonderful interview. Uh, we covered <laughs> such a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, I love the bit about uh, Neil Young eating David Crosby's rubber plum. Yeah. <laughs> Never go to Frank Zappa's house, man. <laughs> hey, it's great to meet someone that hasn't asked me, like, uh, who are your influences? It's such a dull question. <laughs> I'm looking at a major change of direction. i got a big decision to make today. Well, you should never be afraid to make a big decision. Um, I recently changed my shampoo, and I must say, I'm glad I did. My hair's fluffier than it's ever been. I think if I was hit on the head with a cannonball, uh, it'd probably just be absorbed. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to make that decision. Hey, you don't have any drugs on you, do you, man? I suddenly feel like taking a big pile of drugs. No. No, I took a big pile of drugs earlier, but, um, had no effect whatsoever. Oh, man, you must have got a bad batch. I mean, I don't know much about drugs, but I know they're not meant to have no effect whatsoever. Hey, Mark Ledger's on. Better go. Right, is he? See you, man. Yeah. See you, man. Great, you stopped levitating. Welcome back to planet Earth. Take me now, Ray. Okay, where do you want to go? I really, really want to have a sex with you. <laughs> what? Is it April the 1st? I don't think so. I do enjoy that annual joke, Jill, but uh, I think you're a couple of months early. I'm serious, Ray. I want you to blow my bugle until someone passes a law against the extreme bugle blowing. You are freaking gorgeous. What, you mean, you mean you're serious? Do you mean there'll be a welcome in the valley? <laughs> This is this is a bit of a shock, Jill. You know, it, oh, it, it's the pills. It's right. Okay, it's the after effects of the. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah, this will be great. Oh my God, this is just it's so exciting. I've not been doing this for such a long time. I've forgotten how to do it. It's just no. Hang on. There we go. I remember. Um, okay. Can I do the song? You can even do the song, Ray. Okay. How do you do what you do I'll for me? I'll cut the song, Ray. I can't wait. Okay. Mm. 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 This is just so great, isn't it? Mm. Mm. There's nothing to go wrong there, nothing. Mm. 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 Hang on. What's gone wrong, Ray? I need to go to the toilet again. Oh, I don't believe it. I know, it's that bloody Welsh bloke, you know? It's at times like this, I wish I had two pricks. <laughs> that is disgusting. What? I didn't know I'll be back in a minute. And I don't bother, Ray. That comment has put me right off sex with you forever. What? Oh, God! <laughs> How much is that big one? <laughs> you know, I'm sorry about that whole two pricks thing. You know, that was a, it was a terrible thing to say. It was a terrible thing to say, and it may take me years to recover. You're a dirty, dirty man. <laughs> two people today who helped me make up my mind about certain things. Hey, it's, it's them. 
Hey, come up here. Yep, you, you. And you. Let me say a few words about this guy. Don't, don't, don't say too much, because I don't want to, you know, interrupt the concert. <laughs> He's just a... say, say something about me being quite important in the whole underground scene, and maybe just get about me. This guy is an asshole. <laughs> I'm an editor. <laughs> I heard about that two pricks comment. You're a dirty, dirty man. But I also made a friend today. This guy here. He helped me come to a major decision in my life. Thank you, Alex. Say something to the people. Yeah, I don't really have much to say, actually. Uh, I hear there's a warning on the brown acid, so probably want to stay clear of that. <laughs> Thanks, man. Now I want to introduce another friend of mine, Mr. Alan Wilcox. Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Alan Wilcox. I'm manager of Barclays Bank in Chingley, near Melbourne, in Berkshire. I'm not very used to addressing this sort of audience. Anyway, I'm here today to announce that as from next week, our branch in Chingley will be welcoming aboard Mr. Art Ledger as the accounts manager. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Art. The ultimate sellout, he's joined a bank on the stage. Bloody Art Ledger. I, I cannot believe it. Well, I think he just decided he couldn't go on, you know, wearing sunglasses indoors anymore, and it was, it was time to move on. When are you going to settle down and get a proper job, Ray? You are so like my mother. And editing an underground magazine is a proper job. At the risk of sounding arrogant, I think I'm the most important person in the world. <laughs> With every risk, of course, there's always the danger of failure. And I think you may have landed in, in the doo-doo on this one. I am. I'm very important. Shut up, Ray. I think I could be more important as well. I think I've got my whole life ahead of me. You know, not, not my whole life, obviously, but my whole life minus the first 24 years. Stop talking, Ray. Stop talking now or I'll have to leave. Editing an underground magazine in the 60s is very important. You know, I'm akin to, like, a medieval lord, you know, in, in merry England. You know, although I don't really sleep well, particularly merry about it, you know, with all the, the lice and the slime and the pox pigs running around in the... Jill? Jill? Is she... Where's Jill? Has she gone? <laughs> Bloody hippies. <laughs> love, peace, love, peace, love, love. Peace, love, ha, 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 ha. Peace, love, love, peace, love, love. Peace, love, peace, love, peace, love, peace, love, peace, 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 love, love, peace, love, peace, love, peace, 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 love, peace, love. And all that we're saying is love, peace, peace, love, love.